Hi there guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, a little bit something different today. This is more of a uh, an unboxing of something that, uh, well I missed my darling Bixler. I did, I did, I did. Oh hello, I got a sweetie. So I'm uh, just gonna get that out, it's the invoice. And that's where I've gotten it from. Mm, so Hobby RC in the UK and I get 5% off in the next 30 days but because I couldn't because I couldn't get another Bixler I mean I could I mean, I, they're £109 is this right or £106 sorry and it's £109 just to send it to me here in the UK that's, uh, that's really gone south for buying stuff from China so I bought this I bought this I'm going to get rid of that over there pop that on there and uh, pop the sweet on there that I never eat because I'm sweet enough FPV optional this has got a slightly bigger wingspan than the Bixler as you can see probably across here it says 1600 click and plug easily assembly optional FPV camera durable durable unibody fuselage so some different mounting platforms different cameras you can put the FPV camera in there if you want to and you can put a 4k camera at the top here and we've got these clicky parts so let's see how easy it is then to do that let's just oh right, shouldn't we do these little things towards you they tell you in the safety just always try and cut away from yourself mm -mm. So it's such a lovely day outside. There's hardly any wind whatsoever. It's a great day for flying, but of course this isn't set up and I'm too excited to take the wing out at the moment. And my flying area anyway is all changing because they're building on it. There's a manual. Okay. Can I see wires there? Has this thing already got wires plugged in? Oh, we've got the servos, of course, are in, and the plastic things. Let's, uh, so we can get a little bit of a better angle at this. Okay, yeah, well, we'll go over all this sort of thing. Let's, first of all, let's just get it out of the box. So, here are the, uh, the wing. Nice, got a bit of a hole in there, but I'm sure that's there for a reason. Some sort of, not sure, but that's nice, that is. Oh yeah, that's, that feels firmer, sort of tougher, if I could say, than the Bixler. Let's just see what it's like, rigidity, that's nice. nice. Got a nice bit of uh, ply in there. Three, three ply. Let's see your, I think that's what it'd be called. It's nice to already have the cabling in, of course, but the problem that I got is I don't like these, um, I don't like these plastic gears and these. They go real quick and that's a problem that is. We've got our CG area here, but this is if you do it with the setup that they suggest. Got a nice bit of, uh, carbon fibre fibre rod in there and we've got nice nice hinges that's nice that's, uh, that's going to have to be used a bit just to get it loosened up but that's nice yeah that's, that, that does feel good it does feel good oh I'm impressed with that and the other one of course is going to be the same um, these are the I'll get that out of there so this is how you put it in, then you just like push it in and clip it in and press that down to pull it back out again. I think that's a magnet. Oh, no, 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 sorry, that's going to be where the metal support uh, is going to be a rod to go in there. 
tubular by the looks of it to give it its rigidity across the body but that looks good looks good looks good again you know it's, these servos I don't like those but we'll stick some metal metal geared ones in right this is the thing with the body here so let's undo this I'm going to trip that on the floor just to try and keep things as neat as I can let's just uh... right chuck that down there now Oh, so, right, oh, this is plastic. This is, uh, and they're screwed in, so I'm hopefully you can take those out easy enough. So I can just change those again. They're plastic gear, they're not gonna last very long. I mean, they'll be all right for just getting a bit of a flight out of it, I expect, but. So this is all plastic. This is, uh, this is not polystyrene. This isn't gonna need any tape on it, particularly. There's the, they've got a bit of wood in there either side so that i don't know i like the polystyrene because when you show people and they lift it up or something they can feel it's all polystyrene they don't feel threatened that's a bit hard if it were to come down on somebody but it's very unlikely to come in directly downwards is it so i think these are just gonna it's pushed out of it there, so I wonder what you've got to do with this to get this off. If that's stuck on with a magnet, that's really, really hard. Oh, right, I see. Right, so you've got to be careful then with these, because you've got some little plastic bits here, so you need to pull out from the side and try and get around the other side, not try and just pull it up. You have to pull it out because of these. These little tiny things, I can imagine they're going to be not too difficult to break okay uh, this is going to be for the FPV side of things then you can fit a mount into there or a, a servo and then fit your camera and mount on the servo so you can have it toiling about because you've got remember you can use your FPV side there and just put an FPV camera in there and then uh, stick a 4k camera up here Right, what's this? Is this a little quick release? Okay, so on the top of here, there's a little releasey part. So you pull that out and it goes underneath the front. And that's it. So you gotta make sure that goes in. You see the way it's all I've moved around first, but then clicked in. Now keep that in securely, hopefully. All right. And in here then, these are gonna be for your Right, so let's just have a little look at what you get in here. You get some um, some of these cable ties that aren't, I'm um, sorry, battery straps that aren't, or well, they don't feel like they got the, um, do we need more light on this? Let's have a look if we can just take this out of here for a minute. Let's see what the light's like. If it's too bright, I can't do it because my eyes, my eyes don't like it. Let's just see what that's going to be like for looking inside. That could be better, actually. So there we go inside. But these, like I say, they don't have any rubber. I like rubber on the inside because that makes your battery stay in place nicely. You get three of them, there's a battery strap. Bit of Velcro there by the looks of it. Stick on your battery if you want to. Probably a good idea. And I'm going to assume this is where you might want to stick your flight control if you're going to use one. I'm going to use one in here and I can see as this doesn't slide about it's not like it's not like a um, oh, what's that blooming aeroplane that's really good and Sky Hunter where they actually you can slide them out fit your FPV stuff and connect up and everything and slide it back into place that's lovely what we got down here can, uh, I can't see what the ESC is going to be in there. I'm sure if we look it up later, it'll tell us what the ESC is going to be, probably a 30 amp or something. Yeah, quite a long lead there for the battery. And um, we got some, uh, it's a pl 
plastic. I'm just trying to look at the, the offset of this so we can see it. I put it on there so it's going one direction or another. So my camera lens, that's it. Uh, so it's very slightly. You can actually see that this is stuck out a bit more than what this side is just by a few mil but maybe that'll have to come off and there's a lot of screws here so I presume we can take this apart and put a different type of a motor mount there just to make that a bit straighter and of course change the motor because these motors aren't going to be much cop but just for playing around it might be okay now down in here we've got our rudder just get that out of there got a rudder that's nice again we've got these nice hinges and uh, that vertical stabiliser looks like it's going to fit in quite nicely we're going to screw these in by the looks of it and then the rudder yeah. lovely 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 Oh yeah, very excited about this. I just, in a way, I just wish it had been a bit more foam. Maybe that's why it's cheaper. Maybe the foam's more expensive. This, like I say, to, to buy, uh, to get it from Hobby King, the Bixler 3, uh, a couple of weeks ago, they were £86, but now they're £106. And it was about $50 for the shipping. And I begrudged that slightly. And I also noticed as well to get a motor mount um, that it was going to be, it's 15, 15 pounds for the motor mount, about 18, 19 dollars. 15 pounds for the motor mount, uh, American dollars that is. And, uh, no, I'm just going to leave that. 15 pounds for the motor mount, about 11 dollars for shipping, and then another 11 dollars for uh, import tax which I just thought was uh, a little bit naughty so there's the decals now even though it's a square hole to put this in um, well no I'm not sure but it did look like a bit of a square hole to put it in it's a round thing going into a square hole all right, well, you know, don't matter. So that's probably better, actually, because sometimes they can get stuck being round and round if they're a little bit too tight or they've got a bit of tape on them. They can get stuck, so that'll be easier to get out and probably not so hard to find one of these. And maybe I might need to uh, get a couple more of these just in case or something very similar I can I can find just in case to fit in because I've got a funny thing when it comes to bending these you're going to be putting quite a bit of stress on that but uh but we'll see we'll see we'll see and we got a vertical sta uh, horizontal stabiliser and uh, uh elevator Again with the hinges, nice hinges in there. And, uh, this is all gonna go together quite nicely. It does look nice. It does look nice. Let's just get that and just see straight away what that's gonna be like in there. Nice, so that does seem like it's gonna be nice and sturdy once you get that screwed in probably glue it as well or it could just be screwed I mean this could be taken apart quite easily to to go out there this is pretty tough and I expect it's going to look pretty cool on there what you get in the box plastic bag that's it nothing else in the box get your prop so an 8x4 or something Yeah. What's it say on the 
This is the 8x4 here. So I got one of these upstairs, a grey one. Yeah. We'll have to see what it's like. I don't know how well balanced it's going to be or not, but we can see it on the balance thing a bit later. Oh, got another little screwdriver. That always comes in handy. Got a couple of... Uh... Oh, right, let's get in here. Let's tip all this stuff out. Chuck that in there. Forgive my uh, socks and fingers, but I trim the grass. And I've got to put the socks on when I do the grass because uh, I always get all the bits slapping on your legs. That's uh, polystyrene. I'll probably try and put some in here to make it a bit more, mm, just a bit more rigid. But we'll see. That's for our servos. And then we got two. Slightly different, maybe, I don't know. Unless that's because that's screwed on a bit. Unless you just get a spare one, that's my, uh, pretty nice of them. They do look like they're gonna be the same, that one's just not screwed in as far. Uh, so yeah, so this was um, 100, 100, 111 pounds, I think, or 109 pounds. I'll put it up on the screen. And that's from here in the UK, next day delivery. And I really want an aeroplane again because I love the Bixler, but unfortunately I lost that. Um, but that's lessons that I've learned from that, not to lose another one, pretty much similar. Now the Bixler was five, 1500 millimeter wingspan, which gave it more um, stability than the wing. You know, the wing can be a little bit yawry and the wings, you know, because it's smaller, 900 millimeter, it gets knocked around by the wind a little bit more. It was a bit lighter as well. Um, but this, but the Bixler, I like that because it was more stable. You get a lovely smooth flight out of it. And it's uh, the extra bit of weight and the extra bit of wingspan, of course, helps with that. And the, um, and having the, the, the longer fuselage, the tail, the, the, the uh, stabilizers at the back, vertical and horizontal. But of course now this is going to be the same like that because the fuselage area here is a bit longer so it'll help counteract some of this going on and we've got our tail and vertical and horizontal vertical and horizontal stabilizing at the back which will help yeah the only thing that is just that tad bit worrying for me is the um is that this is plastic i feel like i want to put some rubber on the end just so if it does hit somebody not that i've ever managed to crash a plane into anybody or anything else into anybody before but you know there's a first time for everything but i did go and get myself some public liability insurance and all of my craft are insured on the one policy which is nice it only costs 29 pound for the year and uh, up to 12 million pounds. So that's, that's a lot of money. I'm quite sure where that's going. What we got here, we got a, uh, we got channel five. <laughs> All right, channel two. All right, channel three, I presume that's at the throttle then. Oh no, so we're gonna have uh, Channel three and four, two would be the throttle, I would think. Channel three and four is gonna be uh, an actual valve. I don't know, I need to look in the, in the manual because it could just be set up different. So. How lovely set up. That is one hell of a long wire. Don't know why they got the wire so long. If I do that, just being you know, half the length, I suppose, but never mind. Okay, so, well, that's the first bit. So the next bit will be, uh, putting it together and getting all the bits and pieces on there. This is where the, I wonder how easy that is to do that actually. Let's just, uh, cause this is one of the, the good things about that. That's nice that it's got a space in there already. And then we're just gonna come over with that. Wow. And that's in there, that's, uh, wow. 
Uh, there's a bit of movement there, but then we haven't got our pole in. This isn't in. I bet you as soon as we get that in, and the other wing was on there, that's going to give that a lot more. Oh yeah, that's rock solid. Oh, that is rock solid. Wow. That's rock solid. That's even better in the big slab. Ah, uh, yeah, I never thought I'd find, you know, because I just love the Bixler. All right, it's my first aeroplane, but it's just absolutely adorable to fly. And I've got a funny thing. This is going to be just as adorable to fly because that's rock solid. The wings are rock solid. The fuselage is rock solid because it's a different material. This for taking in and out of the field like this is going to be so much easier. Yeah, look, here's my bike and here's my saddlebags. And this is how I'll be going across the fields. Hopefully, you'll be able to just dump that in there. Uh, it sticks out a bit. And I may have to screw the tail on, the stabilizers on, rather than have it in the bike. Um, oh, not sure where this bit's come from. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'll have to have a little look and see where that bit goes. But anyway, that's a bit of a quick unboxing on this one, guys. So this is going to be the bit we're working on. And, uh, and I'll see you for the next update for very, very quickly in the series of what's going to be my next fun plane to fly. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.